Well, thousands of families will be trick or treating at the Tulsa Zoo this weekend. News on 6's Meredith McCown has a look at all the fun. This is the Lost Kingdom, where you can see tigers, alligators, and kimono dragons. But there's also so many activities besides animals that are happening this weekend for Halloween. Halloween kicked off a week ago, and organizers say last weekend drew more than 11,000 people. Director of Development Monica Erickson Simmons says she expects the same this weekend. Activities include a pirate island and an arachnid arcade with games and activities. There's also a royal castle with princesses and a dance party, and a pumpkin patch playroom with a hay maze and yard games. Other features are a haunted house and the haunted train ride, which goes by several spooky stops along the way. There will be meet and greets with some animals, like this spectacled owl, Dewey. Of course, costumes are encouraged for trick-or-treaters with eight pallets full of candy ready to go. This is our 32nd year for Halloween and it has always been successful. Um, again, it's something for everybody, uh, whether they're just starting out and wearing their first costume with their family or if they're the grandparents accompanying the kids. Um, we have something for everyone. You'll see some familiar faces. Several News on 6 anchors will be there throughout the weekend. Organizers recommend buying tickets online in advance. In Tulsa, Meredith McCown, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.